Jeez, that boat looks good. Looks good from here. Isn't it nice when you wake you wake up in your own bed and then suddenly you out of the bed and on the river? I love that. How good is it? Yeah. <laughs> good job. Let's do the Glenelg. Yeah. 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 It's narrow, I think. I mean, we're not that far from my side. Okay, we finally got out of there. <laughs> so what's our campsite tonight? That is beef. Oh, that's tonight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So a tricky takeout after a long day. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, it's been the highlight of my day. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> I'm happy that I provide the entertainment. That looks easier to get in and out at. I think you did Got our master chef here. So, Chris, what are we eating for dinner tonight? Tonight we are having Trangia shepherd's pie. Yum. First time doing this one out in out on the river or the trail. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Shepherd's pie. Are you happy with it? I think so, although I haven't tasted it yet. Oh, I'm very happy with it. I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, how good does that look? Yum. Mmm, yum. Yeah, I'm liking it. Oh. <laughs> you got so much flavour into it. And it's nice with the red too, right? It, oh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you had some? I haven't actually, no. Mmm. So, so it is just the veggies that you fried, the yep. tomato paste and the mince, yep. the salt and pepper. And then oh, and and some, herbs. Italian, some herbs, yeah, there's some Yeah, Italian the herbs there. are definitely... There's rosemary and thyme in there. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. I, I felt like I had a bit of a... Uh, oh yeah, thanks for that. I felt like I had a bit of a standard to live up to after the burgers last night. <laughs> that was, they were great. Oh well. I don't know, I think you've outdone the burgers. I'm a bit worried about the veggie curry now. <laughs> <laughs> It'll, you know... It'll work out. It'll feel whole. <laughs> it's going to be a wet pack up today, unfortunately. The forecast was for what, a 5 to 10 mil. It's been raining pretty much since midnight. <laughs> so. I think we've got a bit to go. So it's been raining all morning. We finally got a little break in the weather, which is nice to be able to slide the meter and a bit down to my boat to get into it <laughs> from the jetty. 
and it looks like it's just about to start raining again. Eleven thirty. Eleven thirty. Oh right. <laughs> That's a very relaxed morning. That was a very relaxed morning. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh well. Yeah. Looking forward to it today. So these are the kind of jetties that we've been coming across this whole trip. <laughs> they do not make it easy to get out for canoes or kayaks on the Glenelg, unfortunately. And it's, uh, we're paddling usually as the tide's going out and just starting to come in. So, um, lowest that <laughs> we're on the river when it's at its lowest. So we just pulled over before and Chris found what six little leeches on you? Yep, about so, that. About that many, yep. So a rainy day for day three. But quite a different one from the previous two days. Yesterday was a bit of a slog, I have to admit. Felt like I was paddling through treacle all day. Today, well, we've still got an outgoing tide by the by the feel of it, which is excellent in terms of not feeling like I'm paddling through treacle. However, it does mean that all of the wharfs and the jetties are going to be a little bit further out of the water compared to us. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what challenge we have at the end of the day today. We've got a few more landings to get past before we get to Patterson's this afternoon. We, there were a couple of caravans. Obviously the caravanners knew each other and they were having a bit of a party until about midnight last night. So <laughs> we got serenaded and <laughs> listened to secondhand chat. Oh, they even threw in some opera there for a little while at full volume. It's an interesting mix of music to listen to. But yeah, by midnight that finished and, and we got to have a sleep in today as well. So we knew it was likely to rain. There's quite a few boat ramps at this end of the Glenelg River and a lot more campgrounds. There's a lot more canoe camps. We're staying at all the Great Southwest Walk campsites because they all have a shelter <laughs> and all of them except for Battersby's which is where we stayed last night are canoe camps so they're in theory easier to get out of your canoe at. Battersby's wasn't easy but uh, we did manage <laughs> after a bit of a palaver this morning but we got there. We're so lucky to have no wind today it's just making the paddling beautiful long stretches of straight river today so if we were if we had a wind it would almost certainly be a headwind uh, southwesterly and so to have no wind is just fantastic oh, it makes the paddle so much nicer it's been beautiful to revisit the, the Glenelg River I love this part of the country I mean that's the thing, like a lot of people sort of say, like, you probably, a lot of the time that 
you know, like water coming out of some of these tanks. And, yeah. Mate, you probably don't have to. You don't have to treat that. Um, <laughs> I just. I don't you know, want to get sick. I'm um, so, Yeah. I, wanna, I don't want to have to cut my trip short. Mmm, you should smell that. That is good. It is too hot. Yikes. Okay, chickpeas are in. Broccoli, cauliflower, spices, and onion. Veggie curry. No, that's true. Ah, so that was Patterson's beautiful camp spot. So that is actually the lowest jetty that we've seen on the whole trip. <laughs> so your um, jetty climbing in and out skills get really good on the Glenelg River. That's a pretty good one. He somehow got a leak on his eyeball. Oh, no way. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> oh, that is just. No, that's wrong. Oh. Are you kidding? No. <laughs> oh. And we had a look at it, and then there was a oh. blood spot on his eye where he's been on. <laughs> <laughs> had the most spectacular weather this morning. Clouds are just coming over now, but oh, we got that beautiful sun this morning to enjoy. Such a nice way to end the trip. So we're heading from Patterson's down to Nelson today, which is about 20 kilometers, and we're changing direction today. So at the moment we're heading south. west <laughs> and then we'll start heading southeast when we turn the corner we've already done about 10 kilometers we've got to princess margaret rose caves which are closed at the moment so we didn't go and have a look we left at nine o'clock this morning and we're probably on track to get in at about midday if we don't stop for lunch so we'll see how we go 
lots of cliffs today which is always a joy to paddle under and very little wind which just makes it so much better Ah, oh, that's a cool echo. Perfect would have been better. Sorry? A perfect would have been better. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry, sorry, let the team down on that one. <laughs> so last night we had a very long haul for our gear from the jetty where we pulled our boats out to the Patterson's hiker camp. Uh, because the canoe camp location had been booked out by a school group and I think it was a very smart move to stay at the hiker camp. <laughs> the school group was quite large and they started a lot later than us this morning. Although they were very quiet overnight, can't complain about that. But yes, certainly the furthest I've ever hauled my gear from the boat. <laughs> I'm going to have to measure it and find out exactly how far that was. I'm going to guess that it was about 800 metres. I don't know, you're a hiker, how far would you say it was? Probably like 300 metres? I think it was probably about 300 Yeah, <laughs> it felt like 800. Because <laughs> I did it three times with duffel bags on my shoulders. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. over a kilometre, see? Yeah. Fine. <laughs> there and back, there and back, there and back. in Victoria again. That was a short visit to SA. We're almost done. We've only got about an hour left of paddling, unfortunately. But we have been so lucky with the weather. Today was supposed to get really windy and although we do have some wind, it's very little compared to what we were expecting. <laughs> it's been a great trip. It's been excellent to spend a few days with Chris and swap lots of war stories. It's also been beautiful to revisit the Glenelg. It's been about four years since I did it last time and I have had perfect conditions this time as opposed to really not perfect last time. <laughs> Okay, well, we've just had our last comfort stop for the trip at Simpsons campsite, which has a beach. Look, sand. It's the first sand we've seen in such a long time. <laughs> and Chris has mastered the art of getting out of the canoe. So this is his last chance to fall in. How are you going to go? Do you reckon? <laughs> Mate, I might have one more in me. I hope so. Oh dear. No, look, we've been treated to one already. I probably shouldn't ask for more.
We made it to Nelson. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.